Whoa, Ooh. what is going on here? <laughs> well, basically, I think it's about time that you guys, you demonstrated I don't know how to I feel us about that. exactly how you practice safe sex. Now, last weekend, there was a little bit of controversy, and this was around roughing the passer. So, Osi, can you explain to me, explain to the viewers as well, what is roughing the passer? Absolutely. Well, we know the quarterback is by far the most valuable person on the football field, so they have to protect him at all costs. So, roughing the passer, basically, whenever the quarterback is in the pocket and he is in the act of throwing the ball, they say he is in a defenseless position, so he has to be protected. And there are only certain ways that you can hit him when he's in that defenseless position. What is that? What's the safe area? Safe area, basically, say Jason is a quarterback, which he did play when he was much younger. Mm -hmm. the, defense, the place where you can hit him is right between here and here. So you can't hit him in the head and you can't hit him below the knees because that's where a lot of these quarterbacks get injured. So this is the safe zone right here. This is the only area that you can hit the quarterback in effectively. OK, we're going to show you guys a couple of examples now at the weekend. These were two penalties given. This one, Chris Jones on Derek Carr. This is the first one. Talk us through this, O.C. This is a great rush by him. No question about that. But is this roughing the passer? Absolutely, this is roughing the passer. Because you're going to see Chris Jones, who's a 300-and-something-plus-pound man. He's going to land directly on Derek Carr's shoulder. And you cannot do this because right here, the quarterback has a, very, has a tendency to, to get his, his collarbone and his shoulder blades injured when you land with all your weight on him. So by the rule, you are not allowed to do this, and this is a rough in the passer penalty. Don't use your body weight, basically. You cannot land with all your body weight on the quarterback. You yeah. have to find a way to kind of roll off of that. Grady Jarrett now. This is on Tom Brady. Talk us through this one. This is another rough in the pass mm. penalty because right here, as you wrap him up, you cannot slink him with his force all the way down because right. you're going to see the quarterback, you know, as we saw with Tua Tunga Valoa last a uh, couple of weeks ago, bang his head on the ground. A very, very similar uh, tackle to this. And right here, Brady just narrowly avoided banging his head on the ground. So the rule is when you wrap him up, you cannot slink him down like that because the quarterbacks will get injured. Is it as simple as for you guys in that position, adjusting and being more smart about it and not doing it because you know the cameras are looking and you're like, woo, look at me do this. <laughs> I know how much you love the cameras. <laughs> I know, but this is exactly what you got to do. You got to think about outside of the cornerback position, the defensive ends and the defensive linemen are the most athletic people. And you have to ask yourself, Jason, you would know this, the rules that you had to adjust to by not, you know, in passing interference, all the things that you had to do to adjust, we have to do the same thing. We have an example of perhaps getting it right. This is Max Crosby. Is this the right way to do it? 100 percent you're gonna see him wrap up the quarterback think about slinging him down and he say oh no i'm not gonna cost my team right here and he's gonna fly off he's gonna make his money either way he got the sack it goes down as a, whoa what is going on here <laughs> Well, basically, I think it's about time that you guys, you demonstrated to us exactly how you practice safe sacks, okay? So, <laughs> Osi, um, explain, as you did a second ago, where exactly you can hit the quarterback and staying safe. It's a really sexy picture right yeah, here, Jason. I, I, did you enjoy I, that? I, I, I look scared. scared. <laughs> yeah, you do. Serious, look scared. Scared. <laughs> but right here, Jason is the quarterback, and as I said before, you cannot hit him in the head, you cannot hit him below here, so you have to wrap, if you're actually going to hit him, you have yeah. to hit him here, you got to get your head out the way, and mm. you got to bring him down like this, Ooh, but I that think was strong. the most effective way of actually doing this is when you come around and you strip the ball from him because that counts as a sack and it is also a turnover, which is a much bigger play, Laura. So basically, you do, you just got to be more disciplined, right? Just focus on the ball, don't focus on the man. 100%, that's exactly what you got to do. You have to be an athlete, which is exactly what you're getting paid to do. Talking of athletes, have a little look at this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know who this <laughs> oh, is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boom, you this, see? That's how O.C. made his money. Look at this play. It changed the game right there. It is basically like you've just got to, if you don't want to get your team into trouble, if you don't want to uh, incur an unnecessary penalty, put the team first and put your own ego second. Exactly, and you have to do that. But I will say this, Laura, this is going to have a knock-on effect for the National Football League that is going to be detrimental to it. And I will tell you how this is going to happen. Because you see, what's going to happen right now is as soon as the defensive ends hit the quarterback or they wrap him up, the referees are going to stop blowing the whistle dead. Right. And you know what this is going to cause? You're going to see the, the, a lot of the good plays that were made in the history of the NFL is by quarterbacks extending the football, extending the play. As a matter of fact, the biggest play in New York Giants history came through when Eli Manning wrapped up. And guess what? He extended. He kept on fighting. They didn't blow the play dead. He threw the ball to Tyree. And you're not going to see any of that anymore because of that. Give me one of those rings back. No. <laughs> wait, wait. What's the answer? What is the answer? How do, you, how do you keep all parties happy then? You keep adjusting. 
You just have keep, to keep that's adjusting. That's what players do. We keep adjusting. All right, that's what you guys do all the time. Right, uh, now we all know how to practice safe sacks.